Welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and I'm very excited to have all of you like every Wednesday in my channel. Look, today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful vest. A lot of you have asked me to make this vest and well, today here is. I will show you first the first part of this vest and then the next Wednesday I will show the second part. Okay, so stay tuned. And I will show you, this is a beautiful technique. This is a new technique that I have been using. I love it. You are going to me make the mesh stitch. And then over this mesh, you are going to make another stitch. So you are going to fill these squares and you are going to create shapes. And with the color of this beautiful um, yarn, you are going to create figures and things like that. There are a lot of different colors of this material, so I will show you all the combinations that we have. So if you want, you can buy the same materials that I use in all my videos. After the material list, I will give you all the information, okay? Well, let's don't lose more time and let's start. You have asked me to make this tutorial because in the introduction of all the videos of my channel, I share this best so a lot of people ask me to make it so here it is well let's turn with more time because if not i will continue talking okay let's uh, give you the i will give you the materialist and then the step by step well look for this best we are going to need 200 grams 100 grams in plain color and 100 grams of angora gold in this color that it's combined with more colors okay so I choose this combination but we have more and we are going to need a crochet hook of number four millimeters okay here I will show you all the different uh, colors that we have and all the combinations that you can make remember that this is just an idea but you can use this brown in red in green in shades of brown and this is so beautiful i love it and this ones too remember that here i will leave all the information if you want to buy the same materials that i use in all my videos there you can visit the website and there we have more colors than this one okay remember that if you want to buy and use the same materials that i use in all my videos you can visit my online store www.lauracepeda.es Hello, I have a big announcement to make. I want to share with all of you that now you can download and you can buy all my magazines in this new app of My Ideas. Just you have to download the app of My Ideas and there you can find all the different numbers and all the different volumes that I have made with this amazing editorial. You will see that these amazing magazines are so easy to follow remember that these magazines are written by me and i share all the diagrams so you can follow and clearly make these amazing breaks with me so please don't miss it and download all the magazines well with one thread of our yarn and we know the hook number four we are going to make as many chains as we need for our size we are going to calculate the number of chains because we are going to measure the wide of our hips okay so we are going to make as many chains as we need in this case i will make 100 chains okay after the 100 chains we are going to crochet seven one two three four five six and seven okay from here we are going to count one two and three here we are going to insert our hook now grab your turn one take two take two and the last two chain three one two and three if we count from here to here we are going to count ten chains so we are going to skip
one, two, three, and fourth. Here insert your hook, take one, take two, and the last two. Three chains, and then here in the third chain. So we are only going to skip two, and then we are going to chain three, and then we are going to skip four. So we are going to make one square skipping three, and then one Skipping two, and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. Okay, we are going to mix between big and small squares because we don't want to white a lot or mesh. So again, three chains, and then here we are going to skip one, two, and three, and in the fourth, we are going to insert our hook. Well, here I count the mesh squares and I have 29. Now we are going to go up with 7 chains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, grab your yarn and now extend the double crochet over the last one and look and we will repeat the same. We are going to follow this sequence and we will always Put the X and the double cr crochet over the last one. Okay, so like this, we are going to continue until we have 25 rows or when you get the long that you want. Okay, so let's continue and see you when I finish. Well, after the 25 rows, we are going to skip two squares each side. This is for the armhole. Okay. And then we are going to continue with the sequence making 15 rows more. Or as many rows you need, you are going to measure from your armhole to the shoulder. But well, in this case, I will make 15 rows and remember to skip two squares each side. Okay, now we are going to make the front part. In this case, we are going to make the half of the chains that we made for the back. So we are going to make 50 chains. If we made 100, well, we are going to make 50. Well, I will make 55 because of our chest, okay? Sometimes it will be according how many boobies you have. If you have more, well, you maybe can make more chains. Okay, after the 55 chains, we are going to crochet 7 chains more, okay? And if we made 14 squares for the back, well, here for the front, we will make 50 squares, 15, sorry. Chain seven. Then from here, we're going to count one, two, and in the third chain, we are going to insert our hook and extend it double crochet like this. Look, so here we have three, four, three, so in the Tenth chain, we are going to insert our hook. Chain three, and then we are going to skip. One, two, three, and in the fourth chain, we are going to insert our hook and extend the double crochet. Remember that once we are going to skip three, and then, then we are going to skip two. So we are going to have one big square and then one small square. So here we are going to skip two and in the third chain we are going to insert our hook and then extend the double crochet. And remember always to take the below part of the chain. Well, we are going to continue like this until we have our 15 squares. Well, at the end you will have something like this. This is for a small or medium size. You are going to have 15 squares. I will measure it and I will tell you how many centimeters I have for the front and from the back. Now turn around and we are going to go up with seven chains. And we are going to continue with the series that we were making before. Grab your yarn twice here in over the last extended double crochet. We are going to make another extended double crochet, three chains. And again here over the last one. And we are going to continue like this, repeating this series, 
ok I made 25 rows remember that you are going to make as many rows as you need according to the long that you want you are going to arrive until the armhole well now we are going to leave two spaces two squares here in this side so we are going to continue making this area and at the end we will leave two squares we are going to continue like this until we arrive to the end I will stop there to tell you what, how we are going to continue remember that we are going to leave two squares well look here I am here I leave the two spaces and this will be the armhole so we are going to come back making the series and like from here I'm going to continue repeating this series and I will make 15 rows or the rows that you need we are going to make as many rows that we need from here from the armhole to the shoulders I will stop here when we have uh, two rows of this series after we leave the twist the twist squares here we are going to start reducing to create the V color okay so like this we are going to take our yarn grab our yarn and then we are going to insert our hook and we are just going to make the extended double crochet like this and at the end we will have something like this and this is how we are going to reduce we are going to make this in the other side of where we leave the squares so like we are in the side where we are going to reduce we are just going to go up with four chains and then we are going to go right away to make the extended double crochet like this and at the end we will have something like this so we are going to re continue repeating this series remember that in this side we are going to reduce and in the other side we are going to leave two squares well I'm going to repeat this step here I already leave the two squares and here is where the side where we are going to reduce I'm going to repeat this because I want to make sure that you really understand this part okay so here is where we are going to reduce and it will look like this to create the V shape of the color then when we go up we are going to go up with four chains and right away we are going to insert our hook here in the square well look this is this side where we reduce so here we have one two three four five six seven squares this is the half of the square and we have from the armhole one two three four five six seven rows right yes seven rows so from here the next eight rows we are going to continue without reducing okay here is where we are going to stop reducing look this is the front and I already finished I finished to make all the rows that I need so now I'm going to repeat this and I'm going to create another piece like this one with the same number of reduction with my number of rows and everything with the same instructions I'm going to create another piece like this one okay so from here to here are 15 rows and then from here to here 25 remember that if you need to make more rows well you can make more rows according to the long that you want once we have the two pieces I will teach you how we are going to join them well look here I have all the pieces now we are going to join them I suggest that you first put the markers where you are going to join you can join with the embroidery needle or with the hook so we are going to join the shoulders and these sides and we will leave this part open because if the vest and remember that I told you that I made one a square more so we can close it and like that but we are going to join these parts these sides the shoulders and these both sides and then I will show you how we are going to continue well I will join the first part and I will use our hook and with the same uh, yarn we will join okay I suggest that for in this case of for the weight of the yarn we are going to make a single crochet 
and we are going to use the hook. If we are going to use a chunky yarn, well, I suggest that you use your embroidery needle. We are going to make four or three single crochet in each square, okay? You have to be careful, and before you continue joining, you are going to check that you are making this stitch in the wrong side, okay? Also, when you finish to join this shoulder, you have to check that you are going to join the other shoulder in the wrong side, okay? So be careful and take care of there, okay? So we are going to continue with a single crochet in the wrong side. And also remember to make the stitch a little bit loose, okay? Let's try not to pull too much the stitch. Well, let's continue and don't forget to join the other shoulder. I'm going to leave 12 squares to have the side open and the rest is the one that I'm going to join. I already finished to join both shoulders, look, with a single crochet and now I'm going to continue with this side. If you want, you can leave more squares without joined, but if not, you can leave between 12 or 10. I think I'm going to leave 10 instead. So I'm going to join until here. So we are going to join the same number of squares in this side and in the other side. Okay, I finished to join both sides. Look, here I leave opened this side. At the end I leave 10 squares without join. Look, this is a single crochet and I leave it in the wrong side. So now we are going to continue with the next stitch. And we are going to start here. Well, we are going to use one thread of this um, yarn. Look at the colors. I love this combination. So with one thread, we are going to start here in the corner. We are going to make a knot. And with our hook, we are going to make chains. We are going to take the stitch like this. And we are going to make between three or, or four chains. And we are going to crochet in zigzag. Look, three, and then we are going to insert our hook here in the other corner. Oh, oh no, here I made a mistake. So we are always going to take the yarn from the bottom. So this is the secret of this stitch. We have to be careful and we have to keep the thread in the bottom of our project. So like this is how we are going to crochet. So look and please, while you are making this, try to hide all of, all of these loose threads. So we are going to make the chains like this and four and then also with the yarn in the back, we are going to close. And again, keeping the, uh, the thread in the back, we are going to make four chains, try to make them loose because if not we are going to reduce the squares and insert your hook in the other corner. And again, always keeping the thread under, we are going to make four chains, four loose chains, like this, three and four. And then we are going to insert our hook. And then look. So we are going to make zigzag. And again, we are going to repeat four loose chains. And then in the other corner, creating this zigzag, remember. And this is how we are going to continue. We are going to go up until we arrive to the other side. We are working with just one side of the front of our vest and try to use a different color of, of yarn for this stitch. Well, so I finished here. Remember that this is the part where we reduce. This is our color. We are going to turn around and now we are going to continue like this, making the zigzag from the bottom to the top. Remember that we are also going to keep or yarn on there. So I will show you how we are going to make this stitch here in the side where we reduce. 
So we are just going to follow the sequence, okay? So it's very important, remember that the secret of this stitch is that we always keep the thread under the project, okay? So we are also going to make four chains, four loose chains, and we are going to continue making the zigzag. So we are going to continue like this, I will do it slowly, so you can see how it is. I want to make sure that this is really clear and you understand. And with this stitch, we are going to continue, okay? We are going to fill with this stitch all the mesh, okay? For now, we are just going to make only the front part. Remember that the next Wednesday, I'm going to show you the second part. So we are going to continue like this and we are going to create little diamonds. So we are going to continue making this stitch from here with a zigzag all over the mesh. And we are going to create diamonds like this one. So I gave you homework, okay? Let's continue. This is the first part and then the next Wednesday I will show you the second part. So stay tuned. I know it's a little bit difficult but it's worth it this vest looks amazing and it's so elegant and you can use it in so many different uh, occasions okay well please don't forget to give me a like subscribe don't forget to visit my website where you can buy all the materials please also visit my spanish channel you can subscribe there and i share more incredible projects like this one well Please stay tuned the next Wednesday for the second part and don't forget to follow me on my social media. Thank you so much and share this video if you like, okay? I love you and see you next Wednesday. Bye!